90 Day Fiance Before the 90 Days can be summed up in two words this week, trust issues. The person you've been messaging with is a man named Christian. First up, God love his soul, we have poor, poor Tyree. Last week we found out he was being catfished by the person he thought was Carmela, but it turns out it's a guy named Christian. And Tyree did not take the news well. I messaged her, or them. Uh, you know, I told her you lied to me, you tricked me. And I put, babe, how could you? Um, they told me that you were a man. Has she read it? No, it was not even open. Like messaging a ghost. <laughs> However, despite all that, he hasn't given up hope. As ill-advised as that may seem. No matter how messed up this situation is, I'm not ready to walk away from Carmela yet. Because I still have you know, a little bit of me that says this might all just be a misunderstanding. I want to get to the bottom of everything. I'm just going to not message her no more today. And then, then tomorrow I'm going to wake up and be like, was that a dream? And actually a nightmare. So that's what I'm afraid of the most. It's like how I'm going to feel tomorrow. You can always count on siblings, and his siblings had his back. The producers told me that it wasn't really her I was talking to. It was actually a man that was pretending to be Carmela. Huh? Yeah. Oh, wow. That is sick. That's a really long time to act like somebody else. They were with him when he heard Christian's voice for the first time. Hey, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Right. Thank you, you so much, Dante. Oh, you're welcome. So, what is your Sorry, it's OK. Uh, I'm Christian. Christian, okay. Sorry. It's okay. Are you okay? Yeah. It's all right to not be okay. Now, talking about trust issues, Riley talked to a private eye about potentially getting the tea on Violet. Would you actually, like, get in a car and follow her? Sure. Really? Wow. Okay. I mean, I feel, uh, ding, ding, gong, gong. I feel, you know, but I, I just, I want to protect myself and, and make sure that she is the right person because I really feel that she may be the right yeah. person for me. Yeah. You know? I, I understand the situation. One of my clients is a foreigner. Oh, wow. Yeah, I have many clients from the U.S. Oh, really? How often... When you do your investigation, do, do you find that women are lying? Is it 50%, 40%? 50%. 50%, wow. 80%. Oh, 80. About 80. M many stories like this. <laughs> oh, my gosh. David traveled to meet Sheila for the first time, but will her jealous side get in the way of their relationship? I cannot control my jealousy, so we fight with David. Despite all the drama and trust issues, there was a more upbeat moment when Amanda finally got to meet Rizvan. And he definitely seemed happy to see her. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe it. <laughs> oh, you are real? Oh my gosh. <laughs> but despite the initial PDA, Amanda seemed hesitant about some things in their relationship. I've been waiting for this moment for so long, but I am realizing it's gonna take me a little bit to kind of feel more comfortable to be with him, like have that physical connection with him. Thank you. So I just hope Brosnan is patient with me and understands that I need to take things slowly. Now, we know Gino and Jasmine, they love to bring the drama, but despite everything that went down last episode, they met at the airport and they had a ton of PDA. 
She's my baby. And if we were not here at this public place at the airport with tons of family, kids, and stuff, my lipstick will not only be on your face, but on my favorite piece of meat on earth. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> How are you feeling about this episode of Before the 90 Days? Let us know in the comments and make sure to subscribe. We're going to have even more of this next week.